Hi, Sarah. Thank you so much. We are joined uh, today by Larry Baird, the president and CEO of the San Francisco Giants. Larry, thanks for joining us. It's great having you here. Welcome. Uh, great to be here. So you are a part of an organization called Advance SF, and you're launching a new campaign. It all starts here. When you're in the city, people who live here, people who love the city, there's still a lot of pride, uh, despite all of these headlines and a lot of the stories that have dominated, uh, quite frankly, the news cycle as of late about San Francisco. Tell us about the campaign and, and why now. Yeah, and I think there's a lot of narrative out there about the city and the issues with the city. And to be sure, there are issues in San Francisco, but there's a lot of great things happening in San Francisco. And it all starts here really refers to the innovation economy, which we're really in the forefront of and have been for quite some time. I mean, within a few blocks of where we're sitting, the headquarters of Airbnb and Salesforce and Uber, uh, Visa's building its new world headquarters, literally in the shadows of the ballpark here. AI is coming uh, to San Francisco with uh, uh, open AI taking half a million square feet, just a three block walk from here, uh, Anthropic as well. So lots is going on. There are issues to address, but we think the narrative really is the national and international narrative, which can become self-fulfilling. A self-fulfilling prophecy is not really fair because uh, there's a lot going on. There's a lot going on in the neighborhoods here and people have pride. So uh, we're, uh, we're working hard to uh, kind of defeat that narrative and, and tell people what's happening, you know, in many parts of San Francisco on the ground. This is a privately funded campaign. Can you tell us how much has been raised and how you're planning to allocate yeah. that funding? So we're going to do an you know, advertising campaign as well as, as media. Uh, we've raised uh, Bob Fisher from Gap, chairman of Gap, and Chris Larson from Ripple have been very generous donors to the campaign. Mm -hmm. We have, you know, three dozen businesses involved, uh, as well as uh, some small businesses and cultural institutions all coming together. And it's exciting. I mean, there's uh, San Francisco really is in many ways on the move. It's a resilient place. There have been earthquakes. There have been times when San Francisco has been down. Mm -hmm and has come back and we're seeing that now post pandemic and you mentioned obviously a lot of civic pride and the attempt to rally that there are real issues here right there yeah. homelessness yeah. drug issues retail theft businesses leaving workers leaving there are many big businesses involved in this campaign how and why did you get well, them to buy well in? We're, we're attacking those issues right and it's not going to be overnight and it's going to be take some time uh, and there's a lot happy coming to san francisco as well uh, where we have to be prepared to make the street scene better than it had been during the pandemic. And it's starting to get better. There's a big conference coming, APEC, which is going to be, you know, Asia Pacific Economic Conference coming in November. 45 leaders from around the world are coming to San Francisco. It's the biggest conference here since the United Nations in 1945 of world leaders, including mm -hmm. President Biden. So, um, there's a good movement. There's a lot of forcing functions to make all this happen. And uh, we're working with city leadership and we think things are on the move.